The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain, the sequel to The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Please like and subscribe to support our channel. Back in St. Petersburg, Missouri, which lies on the Mississippi River, Huck is living with his adoptive mother, Widow Douglas, and with his newly gained wealth from finding the robber's stash of gold in the ending of the last book. However, Huck hasn't quite settled into his new life of manners, church, and studying. He puts up with it in order to be a part of Tom's robber's gang, which requires him to remain respectable. All is thrown into chaos when Huck's drunken father, Pap, returns to town, demanding Huck's money. Judge Thatcher and the widow defend Huck, while a well-meaning judge defends Pap in his right as biological father. He even brings Pap into his home to help him sober. The attempt ends horribly and Pap hangs around the town harassing Huck for months. Huck ignores the harassment and begins to like Widow Douglas as she teaches him to read. In desperation, one night Pap kidnaps Huck and holds him in a cabin. Every night Pap goes out, gets drunk, comes home, and beats Huck. Huck finally decides to escape by faking his own death using pig's blood all over the cabin. He hides on Jackson's Island in the middle of the Mississippi River. One day on the island, he encounters Jim, one of Miss Watson's runaway slaves. He fled after hearing he would be sold to a plantation separate from his wife and children. Huck and Jim become partners on the island. Soon after, a storm causes the Mississippi to flood, and the two see a house floating down the river. They jump on the house and start looting it. Soon, they find a man's body inside who had been shot. Huck and Jim learn from a woman on shore that there are suspicions that they are hiding on the island because they saw smoke. Jim and Huck decide it's time they must flee. They head out on a raft downstream, hoping to later get on a steamboat to the northern free states where slavery is prohibited. As they drift down the river, they come across robbers on a wrecked steamboat. The two manage to escape with the robber's loot and continue downstream. A few days later, they realize they missed their stop at the Ohio River. Instead, they encounter a group looking for runaway slaves. Huck is concerned about his implications in hiding property, but manages to think quickly. He tells the man his father is suffering from smallpox on the raft. Afraid of the disease, the men run away, and the two continue downriver. During the night, a steamboat slams into the raft, and Huck and Jim get separated. Huck ends up on shore and taken in by the Grangerfords, a family of southern aristocrats. The family is in a feud with the Shepherdsons. A cross-family marriage leads to a bloody gun battle. Huck is caught in the middle of the feud, but thankfully Jim finds him and tells him that he has a repaired raft. The two go to Jim's hiding place and take off downriver. A few days later, Huck and Jim rescue two con artists being chased by robbers. The two men lie about being European royalty, but unable to question two white men, they allow them to join their travels. The two con artists continue running scams in the towns they pass. At one town, they impersonate two wealthy brothers who were set to arrive to collect their family's estate. Huck falls in love with one of the sisters and plans to out the liars. However, right before he can, the real brothers arrive and the town is sent into chaos. Huck and Jim get to the raft and as they are about to leave, the two men jump on the boat. They continue downriver and the men continue to scam people. At one town, Huck finds that the two men have sold Jim to a family and outed him as a runaway slave. Huck goes to the family trying to get Jim back and realizes the family is Tom's aunt and uncle. When he gets there, they mistake him for Tom, who is set to arrive a few days later. Huck goes along with it, hoping to be able to free Jim. When Tom arrives, Huck is able to explain everything to him before he exposes what is going on. Tom then pretends to be his younger brother, Sid. Tom gets excited at the notion of freeing Jim and devises an extremely detailed and complicated plan to free Jim. Huck is confused because Jim is not being held very securely, but goes along with the unnecessary plan anyway. Huck, however, is convinced the plan will get them all killed. As the plan begins to unfold and they ransack the house, Jim is freed, but Tom is shot in the leg. Jim sacrifices his freedom in order to save Tom and get him to the doctor. Jim is recaptured. When Tom wakes up in the hospital the next day, he reveals that Jim was already a freed man because Miss Watson died two weeks prior and left it in her will to free Jim, and that he only created the plan to entertain himself. Jim then reveals to Huck that the body they saw earlier in the house floating down the river belonged to his father, Pap. Huck is relieved and announces his plan to head out for the West. 
Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to support our channel.